Hey, hey guys, unboxing today. Uh, I've got a chance to check on the very new things like you haven't seen it yet. This is the SE F5 Pro and the C version, so so-called Pro C battery ban battery from the year. Uh, and I mean, since it's going to work in the pack with the six kilowatt single phase inverter, so we will be unboxing today both of them and checking what's exactly inside and how it's built. Give me a sec. So this is for one of my subscribers. He asked me to help him with the uh, purchase. And of course I will have to like unpack it, connect it and set it up the inverter for him. Uh, but well, we have a chance. Uh, he allowed us uh, and we'll, we will do the unboxing. So everybody now knows what to expect from getting these exact items uh, for their own use. Okay, the boxes are open. And well, what do we have here? This is the battery and I mean, some kind of bolts. I don't know why and what for so small ones. Uh, the manual, cables, cables inside and that's already very good. Uh, they are not that long, I believe only half a meter maybe, uh, but it's already present. And yeah, that's a display. And I mean, this thing, uh, it's probably just to make it more convenient to, to put the markings on your wall. For example, this is the wall and you want to hang it, you just have the exact places where to drill the holes. And I mean, that's that's pretty cool. So let's check what's what's inside here. Aha, uh -huh. well, what do we have additionally? We have brackets. Yes, this is this will be the mounting brackets, I believe. And uh, this is something. And I'm curious, what exactly is this? Not sure. Okay, guys, give me uh, a few a second. I will have to undo this and and dispatch. But take a look at the packaging. Packaging is amazing. Absolutely, you cannot ruin. You cannot damage this. Not possible. I mean, come on. Is this plastic? Looks like. Or maybe not a plastic, maybe maybe some kind of material, composite, whatever. No, it's not metal. It doesn't look like metal. Or maybe, or maybe, maybe it is. No, uh, it should be should be aluminum. Yeah, yeah. Look, it's cold. It's cold. You know, plastic it doesn't get that much cold because well, this one is warm. This one is really cold by touch. So this is metal, but uh, not magnetic one for sure. Maybe the same one like they do the bodies uh, on on the on the on the, on, the, on the inverter. So give me. Please allow me uh, some time, to, two hands, to get this out for you. Okay, guys, the battery is up, uh, and I mean, let's take a look at how does it look like. It looks really cool. It looks really sleek and slim. I like it. I mean, very, very nice and very neat for the wall. What the hanging on the wall? So this thing is metal, definitely. The back cover is also metal, but the handle is plastic. The top cover is plastic, absolutely plastic. I can even feel it. That's how plastic it is. Um, what do we have here? Here there is a small cover where we have this, uh, the power button, the PCS and, uh, the, and, and the communication between themselves. Let's hit the on button, the power on button. Let's check what's going on. Yeah, there is a screen which shows a percentage and the nice day, uh, logo, whatever. Standard thing, nothing specific. Let's switch it off for the moment. Uh, and uh, let's take the look what we have here we have this switch and this is really cool because not everybody has this kind of switch this switch will supply plus and minus directly to the to the clamps to the outputs uh this is how they look like nothing specific and let me tell you more about the additional stuff that we have here. So I unpacked that thing that didn't want to go. And these are the wall hangers. Now these are, this is something different. I will have to check with the instructions. Not sure what is that, but this is something different. This one will allow you to actually mount the inverter using these kind of uh, holders. And they are also same ones at the bottom, right? So you can, you, 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 you can see. Okay, but uh, so this is how it goes. I mean, obviously. You have to just like hang it on the wall and that's it. It will be just hanging and well, nothing specific. That, that's what for these kind of holes, that's what for you have these kind of uh, mount, uh, m measuring thing. Uh, what else do we have here? So we have the, we have the bolts and the anchors for the wall, for the solid wall, not, uh, not the drywall of course. And we have the cables, which are the communication cable, the black one. We have the grounding cable or earth cable, whatever you call it. And we have the plugs plus and minus for the inverter connection cable. That one 
this one is the because it has like the sockets on both sides this one is for interim connection of two different uh batteries but this this will this one is for uh exactly this place and so you can literally connect your inverter and you have to produce you have to make this cable on your own so this one doesn't exist in the package uh, because obviously inverter connections uh, a little bit differ so you and lengths differ what's the most important or maybe you want to this this supply to the bus bar if you are connecting like many of those so that's why they don't supply this kind of cable so anyways let's take a look at the inverter and then we will try to do the connection between both of them so let's take a quick look at the inverter now. So this is the six kilowatts uh, and well, I mean, mounting plate, standard one. Okay, now the cover, the cover and let's check what's beneath, what's beneath, what's down there. Ah, oh, no, this is the, this is likely the, the silent one, I think, because it seems to me it should not, well, we will get to there. To that place instructions i believe german and uh, yeah german and english as always what else do we have here on the side we have everything like all those stuff like the ct i believe the magnetic uh, rings the communication cable temperature sensor some bolts i don't know i believe two connectors there should be yes they do they supply these kind of things and even the uh, the specific socket uh, not the socket but the driver for it uh what do we have here on the side this should be the wi-fi thing right as usual as typical as standard as they are producing it yes this is the wi-fi by the but by by the way take a look this is the new way new look i haven't seen those yet but this is already the new one this is already the very different one from which were they supplying earlier so now the antenna is hidden and it's kind of cool i would say it's uh it looks better than the previous one um okay what else do we have here something no nothing and uh, nothing and nothing so i will have to take it out so we will be able to take a look at the inverter and give me again sometime i need two hands and guys why i am placing it like this for you to look to take a look so first of all here is the model so you can clearly know what exactly which exact one is a passive cell this one is passive no vents this means this beast will be silent and i mean technically here are the places where you can put the cooler right so this place and that place i believe uh where where i mean this is where it might be probably supposed to be i'm not sure but i mean this kind of radiator take a look it will be able to absorb so much heat that you should not bother literally literally you should not bother and i mean nice handles for uh, handling it so everything is really cool and neatly done no issues with that so let's take a quick look so right now we have the pv switch on the side in my five kilowatt it's on uh, it's 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 down there uh, the on button is also on the side in my case in five kilowatt it's also down there which is not convenient and now this time uh you see this one is technically technically um made to have double pv1 input and double pv2 input but still it exists uh, it only one exists i will just i will open it later so we will take a look from that side as well and here uh same stuff uh grid low gen uh, communication terminals and the battery terminals everything is sealed everything is nice and neatly no nothing specific here on this place and i mean the screen is exactly same one uh, for physical buttons and the touch screen as they normally do with the uh like older version inverters which are kind of cool so let me open up the cover and we will check what's inside in there okay guys the cover is off and i can tell you that this inverter evolved a lot since uh, last year i wasn't packing my five kilowatt i mean they are of the same series but they are very much different so first of all take a look plus minus are marked here and they are also marked there on the board not here not on this place but they're higher you see on the left plus uh yes and on the right there is minus and as well here so again what do we have here additionally right now so take a look ats switch something is different right now and uh, now we have something that is working uh with the five volt switch i believe this is the preparation for the smart devices and also the parallel switch the dip dip switches uh which are currently one and two both on 
And everything else kind of looks similar to me. Technically, I mean, you can apply something here on, I mean, on this place where the, there are PV plus and minus for the, like, the extra inputs. But, uh, I mean, there is no need in that because obviously this inverter cannot handle more than it is allowed for it. I mean, anyways, it can take in, like, over 10 kilowatts of uh, solar, I believe. Just check the, I, I, will, I won't be giving you the link. Uh, just check the model and check the tech, tech parameters. I'm not re repeating them here. So anyways, what I see here is just a little bit more of evolution to uh, what was earlier. And uh, come on, what is this? This is very interesting. So this is the, ah, that's the ATS. Okay. I believe that's the ATS that is used for the gen port that is already connected to this board. Uh, well, well, let's see. Let's see. I mean, this, this evolved evolved quite a lot and it's different from uh, what it was earlier anyway yeah that's that's true so let me try do the connection between the inverter and the battery launch it and just like the settings for the guy and that will be it for now now you know how does this thing look and what to expect from it the on button is on and i believe this one will be starting uh, and the battery does not throw any errors. That's because, well, I had to do this. I had to supply some kind of uh, ground terminal, whatever. I took it from my AC system, whatever. And just like, don't do this at home. Don't, never, ever. I'm just doing this for the checks, but you should never uh, like do it like this. Uh, do a normal proper connection. I'm doing only to check the inverter and to see what the settings are and maybe to do some setup. But we, I can definitely see that the system uh, is uh, turning itself on. No normal light yet. That's because we will have to do the settings and we'll have to, we'll have to check what's everything in there. So give me, allow me some time. But eventually, I mean, it runs uh, and well, uh, so far, but like, let me finish the settings and we will see if it's working exactly as it should. So all the settings are cool. I mean, and there is there was not much to set up. So first of all, uh, in the battery settings, I had to set up the lithium mode, the battery capacity, the max charge and discharge for it. And of course, uh, all those parameters that I want to start or whatever. And uh, the main is uh, the battery setting, uh, which is the protocol in the protocol zero zero, which means that uh, I mean I I also will have to likely set up this one because I like to set it up somewhere at around five percent to shut down low battery to about twenty percent. Uh, okay, and the restart should be also at around. 20%, not not more, not less. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, what is important? You see the smart devices already. So this means that all new settings uh, for the day wind turbines, they will, they, they will not work with the wind turbines at all because uh, the advanced function setting two is absolutely just missing and they have took it out from the settings. So, well, forget the guys about the day as the best for the wind turbine. They are likely removing this thing from the inverter. So, uh, I don't know, I will be really cautious to upgrade my inverters further on. This is a trouble uh, for me specifically here, like nothing specific to, to set. And well, here as well, nothing specific to set. I mean, there was also the thing that I had to set the general standard for the uh, grid code uh, and the uh, like what 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 and the reconnection time of course I like this to be set at 10 seconds not 60 like it's originally and well I believe I also have to set the uh, zero export to load with the grid peak shaving to 6 kilowatt not more and I mean I believe I will have to also use the time of use with the allowance of grid charge uh, to say 100% because I mean this is going to work as a power bank main, power bank mainly so I will have to use it like this probably or later on people will be able to use this thing as um, the thing to save money for example charge at night and discharge at daytime uh, that's the very simple and easiest thing how can you uh, utilize the power of the time of use functionality. That's easy, as easy as that. For now, I just like prefer to set it up like this. 
there is nothing uh, nothing crazy about this okay let me check once again okay cool uh, all the days and and that will be it that will be it so I will now have to like pack it back so how to know that the battery is communicating the with the with the inverter so you go you go here and you check the Lib EMS and you see if there are charge and discharge currents that are respectful for your battery that are okay absolutely for the battery because charge current limit is currently less than 50 amps because of the temperature because the temperature here is quite low with like 13 degrees Celsius this is a balcony not heated one uh, so that's normal for for this kind of temperature and I mean uh, if it would have been in normal conditions like about 15 degrees or more that current charge the charge current will be of course more so yeah i mean this is it uh thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos like this or others